this video we are going to see connection pooling. Why connection pooling comes into the picture? What is the problem with creating the connection object and destroying? What is pool? How does connection pooling improves the performance of the application? How to implement the connection pooling in Java? Steps to implement the connection pooling? Sample program. In general in JDBC applications, when we have a requirement to perform database operations we will establish the connection with the database from a Java application, at the end of the application we will close the connection that is destroying connection object. In JDBC applications, every time establishing the connection and closing the connection may increase burden to the JDBC application, it will reduce the performance of the JDBC application. In the above context, to improve the performance of JDBC applications we will use an alternative called as connection pooling. In connection pooling at the time of application startup we will prepare a fixed number of connection objects and we will keep them in a separate base object called pool object. In JDBC applications, when we have a requirement to interact with the database then we will get the connection object from pool object and we will assign it to the respective client application. At the end of the JDBC application we will keep the same connection object in the respective pool object without destroying. The above mechanism will improve the performance of the application is called as connection pooling. If we want to implement connection pooling in JDBC application we have to use the following steps. Step 1. Prepare data source object. Step 2. Set the required JDBC parameters to data source object. Step 3. Get the pooled connection object. Step 4. Get connection object from pooled connection. Step 5. After getting connection prepare statement or prepared statement or callable statement and perform the respective database operations. Step 1. Prepare data source object. Data source is an object, it is able to manage all the JDBC parameter which are required to establish the connections. To represent data source object Java API has provided a pretty fine interface that is. Jav Access QL Data Source Data Source is an interface provided by JDBC API, but whose implementation classes are provided by all the database vendors. With the above convention Oracle has provided an implementation class to Data Source interface in OJDBC 6.jar file that is oracle.jdbc.pool.oracle connection pool data source. For example, Oracle Connection Pool Data Source DS equal new Oracle Connection Pool Data Source. Step 2. Set the required JDBC parameters to data source object. To set the JDBC parameters like driver URL, database username and password to the data source object we have to use the following methods. Public void set URL string driver URL. Public void set user string username. Public void set password string password. For example, ds.set url jdbc, oracle, thin, at localhost, 1521, xe. ds.set user system. ds.set password system. Step 3. Get the pooled connection object. Pooled connection is an object provided by data source. It can be used to manage number of connection objects. To represent pooled connection object JDBC API has provided a pretty fine interface that is javax.sql.pooled connection. To get pooled connection object we have to use the following method from data source. Public pooled connection get pooled connection. For example, pooled connection PC equal to ds.get pooled connection. Step 4. Get connection object from pooled connection. To get connection object from pooled connection we have to use the following method. Public connection get connection. For example, connection con equal to pc dot get connection. Step 5. 
After getting connection prepare statement or prepared statement or callable statement and perform the respective database operations. For example, statement st equal to con dot create statement. Note, the above approach of implementing connection pooling is suggestible up to standalone applications, it is not suggestible in enterprise applications. If we want to implement connection pooling in enterprise applications we have to use the underlying application server provided JDBC middleware server.